The, the creative arts class is an interesting program at uh, BIH, BIHS because kids do show up for homework help. Um, so that is kind of a, the priority here is to give them help with their homework. Um, you know, it's also very important for them to get some exposure to the arts, but it's trying to cater to the arts, but also cater to their needs in the school and how those can come together and um, help excel, you know, their learning. We don't want to just completely pull them away and, and steer them in an opposite direction, but we want to do something that's going to be meaningful for them, something that they can take for an hour and then when they jump back into their homework, you know, something that's going to resonate and, and help them along in that as well. I feel like the volunteers here have been very um, helpful in aspects that go beyond just homework and I think they've also contributed to, contributed to um, building more confidence in the students as far as expressing themselves and um, being more confident with the English language, yeah, of course. Well, today we wanted to review concrete poetry and specifically um, focus on the terms tradition, community, and identity. Oh, yeah, the three main terms were, um, like you said, community, tradition, and identity, and trying to bring those all together and how those, um, how those create um, our own identities and, and, the, and our communities around us and um, taking those identities and putting them into a concrete poem, three different sections that the head was um, the, the, the head was the community and this middle torso being the tra traditions and the legs being um, the, our identity. We also were touching on um, tying in the definitions of abstract and proportion, um, throwing in some art terms as well. But yeah, I think they had a lot of better ideas about um, from we, when we first introduced the ideas. Um, they were definitely, the ideas came a lot quicker when we asked them like what kind of traditions they had and what kind of things they saw in their community. And I think um, these ideas and these this vocabulary um, was more prevalent and um, something they had a little bit more exposure to, which was really great. Um, the art terms did not sink in as well. I don't think so, yeah. I think that um, these, these poems were an extension of the Shibuya game that we've been playing, and I think that the students became more comfortable talking about themselves and like different aspects of their identity, being their culture and their interests and things like that.